The Eagles are now on the clock. 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 The Eagles are now on the clock.
The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock.
The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock.
The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock.
The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock.
The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. The Eagles are now on the clock. Start your week by installing your game plan. This is the player card. Here you can see your player's strengths and weaknesses. You have grades for each position that browse available players to improve your team.
Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is preseason football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a great one on tap between the Tennessee Titans and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday night football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tennessee Titans and the Philadelphia Eagles. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. We are in the first quarter. We get you back to the action to see how this defense can do on this upcoming drive. tight end Ingram give him three there on the first play of the game and it's second down I think defensively you're okay with that here in the first quarter he's going to get some catches but they rallied to him quickly and that's what you count on and I like what you just said first quarter can you do it all game long they catch it you tackle them they go down on the spot because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that and not much maybe a yard up to the 29 a one yard gain there following the three yard pickup on first down well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now it's Ryan. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Duke Riley, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Back deep is Darren Sproles. This is fielded at the 27. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. game first quarter let's see how this defense does on this drive now Ryan on first down this complete to the tight end clay 10 yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down that's what I'm talking about nice hit boy that coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man that's good recognition there and how about what he did after the catch yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On second down, 
It's Freeman, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll bring up a third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Ready, blue 80. Mike 59. On third down, Devontae Freeman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and 10. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that these slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Ready, blue 80. Mike 25. Check the nine. I don't even know why this team showed up. On third down, Ryan. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll keep this one away from Sproles as this is angled toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. Set, 90 wolf. Time now to see what this defense oh, yeah. can do. Second oh, yeah. quarter as the again. offense starts Here out first go. and ten. Five. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense a three yard loss to start the drive they'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. and here comes throw number one for the backup qb that's complete bernard tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards we can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. First down, Titans gain of 12. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. They really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Edwards now on first and 10. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Another example right there of how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. The Titans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. 
Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing. So a first and 10 coming up for the offense here in the second quarter. Let's see what this defense can do. Ready up. Check back 34. Mike 34. Come to my world. We want it. Come to my world. And I... Jones now throwing on first down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Jarvis Jenkins. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. A draw play. Bernard. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Right now, I'm just wondering where they turn on offense, Charles. I know we're not in the fourth quarter, but second quarter haven't scored and struggling to move the ball. I don't think they abandoned the run game totally, but maybe you change up your tempos. Maybe you go a little bit faster, try and catch them back on their heels a little bit to try and accomplish what you want to get done. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Bernard. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Come on, baby, let's go. Well, thanks to their punter, this defense has been set up in a really nice spot with the offense pinned back against their own end zone. Got it? Check that, check that. We want Mike 52 right here. Mike 52. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Two. To throw from his end zone, Jones. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone, and that's his safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Second half action, and this defense still pitching a shutout we as we drop you back into the action. The I got him, I got him. <laughs> the drive starts with a handoff to Bernard, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Here, Just a three-yard gain there. A gain of three, second down. Right. The last Ricky run got Ricky three. Ricky now here's Ricky second and seven. Ricky, 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 Ricky. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. They'll run again with Bernard. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. 
He's got the hook up to Dylan Cantrell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. 60 out loss. Our time. This is our time. Shift, shift. They'll run on first down. Bernard. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. First down, Titans gain of 12. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast and in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Now Jones. Gonna throw again. Got a man. That's Richie James. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, Bernard. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, here's Bernard. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. Ready, this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jones operating from the gun. This is caught. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side, if they stay aggressive, because you know they want to pitch this shutout. Yeah, they have to be aggressive, but they also have to be smart about it as well, because one mistake can turn into six points. Completed pass, brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And this shutout is going to continue. All right, this defense back out there with the lead and also with a shutout intact as they look to finish this off in the fourth quarter. Down. 50, plant. Come, check him, check him. And here we go. Watch, watch the pass. Watch the pass. Here's Jones on first and 10. Oliver, the tight end, making the catch. 
And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. To throw again on second down. Jones, open man is Cantrell. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Jones. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Here's Edwards. There to stop him, Terrell Edmonds. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Again, it's Edwards. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Record, record. Jones now from the gun. He'll throw. That's into the hands of Edwards. And he'll be brought down, good, losing yardage good. back at the 40. 53 the mic. 53 the mic. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, Guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.